वेलकम बैक गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी फाइन सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन 3.38 ऑफ चैप्टर 3 एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इट इज इफ द जॉइंट प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ x एंड y इज गिवन बाय f ऑफ xy इज इक्वल टू x plus y डिवाइडेड बाय 30 फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ x व्हिच रेंजेस फ्रॉम 0 टू 3 एंड फॉर y व्हिच रेंजेस फ्रॉम 0 टू 2 ओके सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट वी हैव टू फाइंड सम प्रोबेबिलिटीज Uh, which are basically the joint probabilities so uh, before going into each part of this question let us first draw a table for the values which are given here so in order to do so let me write here different values for x and y okay let me have here this is let me call it x and here we have y okay so writing all values of x and y what we will have let me use this color for x i have 0 1 2 and 3 so it is 0 1 2 and 3 okay these are the values for x and for y we have what 0 1 2 so we have here 0 1 and two okay so these are different values of x and y now on the basis of the formula which is x plus y divided by 30 what we can find out we can write these values of x and y in this and we can write their values okay so here the value of f 0 0 will be what writing the value of x 0 y 0 what i will get 0 plus 0 divided by 30 so it will be what it will be let me use another color for it and this is this one okay so 0 0 this will be 0 okay similarly 0 plus 1 divided by 30 this will be 1 by 30 okay and here 0 plus 2 divided by 30 divide this would be 2 divided by 30 okay so these are all the values for x equal to 0 while all the values for y which are 0 1 2 similarly for x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 this would be 1 plus 0 divided by 30 so this would be 1 by 30 similarly here it will be 2 by 30 okay and here we will have 3 by 30 okay you know why because putting value of x here okay which are on the vertical axis and on the horizontal we have the values of y putting it here and using this formula we can find out these probabilities okay similarly here we will have 2 by 30 okay 3 by 30 and here we will have 4 by 30 for this x equal to 2 and for x equal to 3 we will have 3 by 30 4 by 30 okay and here we will have 5 by 30 okay so these are different values of the formula fx and y for all the values of x and y okay so now on the basis of it we are asked to find out some probabilities which are probability of x is less than or equal to 2 uh, such that y is equal to 1 so this is part a and in part a we have to find out the value of x is less than or equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 okay so here let me see that where is it that y is equal to 1 so this is here this is the overall column where y is equal to 1 okay similarly on the basis of it we have to see another condition here and that is x is less than or equal to 2 so it will start from where these will be from here okay you can see that it will be from here to here so these would all be the values where x is less than or equal to 2 okay we can see that this is the range so 1 by 30 2 by 30 3 by 30 okay so these are all the values so let me write them here okay so here i will have 1 by 30 plus 2 by 30 plus 3 by 30 and these are the values where we have f is where x is 0 okay and y is 1 this value is f is x is 1 and y is 1 and for this value we can see that here x is what x is 2 
while y is 1 okay so we can see that these conditions has been fulfilled here so using it here the lcm this would be 30 and here it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so 6 by 30 or 1 by 5 okay so that is what that is the answer of part a of our question okay so this is the answer of part a now moving towards part b of our question which is word probability that x is greater than 2 okay and y is less than or equal to 1 okay so this is another condition now let me see that where the, this condition occurs so y is less than or equal to 1 so these are basically all these values which we have here these are for the values that y is less than or equal to 1 so now looking at another condition here and that is x is greater than 2 so x is greater than 2 is 3 so therefore only this condition will satisfy because here y is less than or equal to 1 and here we have x is greater than 2 which is 3 so now these condition will be satisfied okay so writing these values here now let me write these values here so i will get here 3 by 30 plus 4 by 30 because these are the values we have here and here ultimately we will get 7 by 30 which is basically the answer of part b of my question okay so this is part b now moving to part c of my question let me solve it here and that is probability that x is greater than y okay so now let me write all the combinations where the value of x is greater than y so it will be f uh, 1 0 okay similarly we can have here f uh, 2 0 okay and f 2 1 this is again the condition where the value of x is greater than y similarly the other one is f 3 1 okay sorry f 3 0 plus f 3 1 plus f 3 2 okay so now looking at all these values which are here so f 1 0 is how much that is 1 by 30 okay it would be 1 by 30 similarly f 2 0 is how much f 2 0 is 2 by 30 it would be 2 by 30 f 2 1 is 3 by 30 okay f um, 3 0 is again 3 by 30 okay f 3 1 is 4 by 30 and the last one is f 3 2 which is 5 by 30 okay adding them all together and ultimately we will get what it would be 18 by 30 okay we can see that 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 and 8 is 18 so here we will get 3 by 5 which is the answer of part c of my question okay so this is the answer of part c of my question now moving somehow downwards and looking at the solution of part d of my question and what is part d we have to find out the probability that x plus y is equal to 4 okay so here in order to see that where does this x and y is equal to 4 let me again write the function where x and y are equal to 4 and here we can have here this 2 2 okay and also this plus is for or and also we can have here 3 1 okay so these are the only two possibilities here where x and y when added together will give me 4 okay so now writing their values i will get here this is 4 by 30 f 2 2 is 
okay you can see that this is 4 by 30 and also a free one which is here sorry which is here and that is again 4 by 30 okay so it will be 8 by 30 which will ultimately give me 4 by 15 and that is basically the solution of part d of my question okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.38 and all the parts of this question if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box because all of these things are related to the two variables and that is the joint probability distribution function so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon